when I bike every day, 365 days of the year. And I bike to work and then I bike back. And sometimes it's the best part of the day. <laughs> Joyous that I got to experience all of the things you can't see from a car or a motorcycle or even walking. Cycling is the most amazing sensation in the world. I grew up like back home in Bangladesh where I was born. I moved here three years ago, but after coming here, I just like to bike here because it's a really nice place. I rode my bike when I was younger, and then I got my license <laughs> and I started driving. You know, I grew up in a suburb. And I didn't start biking again until I was in my mid-30s. And I was a little nervous because I was living in Toronto, it's a big city. And once I got on a bike as an adult, the world opened up. Cycling advocates are expressing their disappointment tonight. This year, the city installed long-awaited bike lanes on a busy Scarborough road. Well, five months later, they have removed them. Brimley was initially picked as a location for the bike lanes to increase road safety after studies showed over 70% of vehicles on that roadway travel 10 kilometers per hour over the speed limit. If I think of pharmacy and steels, for example, or warden and steels, once we start going even that way, where are you going to go on a bike? You just fear for your life. There are some areas or like my daily commute where I think it would be fun or really a good experience to bike, but I can't because I, well, I, not that I can't, but I just wouldn't feel safe uh, riding my bike if the drivers are the ones that I see every day. City documents show over the past five years, there have been three fatalities, including one this past spring. When you talk to your friends who live in Scarborough and you visit them, uh, what do they think about biking? They don't know where the destinations are. They don't feel that... This is true for North York as well. I would add it, there are identical comments of people that live up in Vaughan. They don't feel safe. And so, yeah, if I'm on, uh, on like bigger roads, I have to say I do go on the sidewalk because it's a bit scary to be on the road. It's tough. I mean, I rode on the sidewalk. I rode on the sidewalk mostly because it's dangerous. Near my house on Victoria Park, going down on Green Bridge. Those cars didn't pass, I don't know, I didn't feel very comfortable. So I think when I talk to family members or friends or community members who don't ride, they kind of get wide-eyed and they stop and they say, where do you ride? Like, where do you feel safe? Sometimes they feel like, oh, you're able to take the bike on the roads, on all of them? And I'm like, well, I do my best. Uh, what are you going to do, yeah? I find myself avoiding telling my family whenever I'm going for a bike ride, and it's purely out of the concern they have for me, sort of a disbelief that anyone would try to cycle in Scarborough. Right now, shamefully, we don't have one single protected bikeway from east to west or north south, from border to border. I don't fault the cars up here. I don't think they're used to cyclists. There like, are I, I, some yeah. paths on the side streets, but the main streets, yeah, I felt that tension. So they've got safe little routes and back streets they take with their wife at a very quiet time of the day, and then they get back home as soon as possible. Is it safe? Would I send an 80-year-old there? Would I send an 80-year-old there? If you would not, it's because it's not safe enough. But still, I have to go through main intersection, which is Markham and Elsmere, and uh, I don't feel safe when I go on the Midway uh, biking track. It's good, it's good, and I feel safer over there, but the, the, passing through the major intersection, it's, it's difficult. I live in the neighborhood of Highland Creek. Riding here feels great as long as you're not on a road. We have a lot of great trails, but when it comes to riding to get to a workplace, to school, to your home, they're not located at parks, they're located on street level. And that's where cycling feels and is uh, the most dangerous. I live on Kingston Road in South Scarborough Southwest and uh, I ride a lot on Kingston Road and Danforth Avenue. 
There are very few bike lanes anywhere where I ride. Sometimes unsafe, traffic is very fast in some places. You see which neighborhoods are getting priority in terms of biking, um, and it ends up being just like folks from across Toronto just going to those specific areas to bike because that's where mm -hmm. it's more segregated. Uh, we don't have the same infrastructure and the same safety that downtown residents or West End residents have. Cycling there feels safe uh, and feels safe to do so. And without infrastructure here, why would you want to try? I think Scarborough is really beautiful and has really amazing little pockets of areas that can be 100% used um, for bike lanes, like even just on Kingston Road. I think it could really become like the new Lakeshore. I think Scarborough has that kind of potential. It just takes investment and taking bikers seriously here. If you're not a driver, extra responsibility that shouldn't really be there is, is forced on you. And that's a lot of responsibility to put on any community member, a child, a parent, someone taking the bus to work, or someone, in my case, cycling. What would make it safer? Uh, dedicated smart bike lane systems ones in which there's some separation between you and traffic. I think on big roads like Danforth or Richmond, having designated bike lanes would make a huge difference. They make the roads safer for everyone, not only for cyclists, but also for pedestrians and for motorists. But to me, bike lanes are the game changer. I've noticed people who are hesitant about biking in Toronto, but cycling is for people of all ages. And the more that we can make cycling safer, it benefits everyone. We need to have a triple A network of protected bikeways. Triple A's, all ages and abilities. When I started biking, I was only concerned about the money because uh, it was a difficult time for me. And uh, yes, I saved some money. And then after a while, I feel like now biking is more of a, a, a mental and health, uh, physical health therapy for me.